hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Rashida and I'm a stay-at-home work from home mom of four beautiful children we have Giselle Malachi Nasir and Naomi and here on this channel we like to provide you with all types of motivation we have cleaning motivation laundry motivation mommy motivation just realistic motivation to help you get you through your day week month and year so if that is something that you're interested in please consider joining our family all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are on so you would not miss an upload for today's motivation i'm going to be catching up on some things around the house you know you have that never ending to-do list that just seems to grow and never shrink well today i'm just going to be tackling some things that's on my list that i have extremely neglected and have been putting off i can tell you for sure that this past summer has really knocked me off my game. I'm talking about every single routine that I have, especially when it comes to cleaning, has just been destroyed. I have no more routines. So now I'm just trying to get back in the habit of getting stuff done. But in order for me to do that, my whole house basically needs a reset. So today we're going to be tackling the most cluttered in neglected areas of my house the areas that you're going to see today are complete disasters starting off in this family room i know at first glance it might not look like it's a mess but trust me believe it's just stuff everywhere and the camera and the video is not really doing it justice but this place was extremely dusty so i literally had to wipe everything down i can't even remember the last time that i gave this family room a good deep cleaning to where I dust everything, wiped everything down, shampooed the carpet. I can't tell you. I've been spot cleaning here and there, but you know spot cleaning can only last you but so long. You really need to get in there you know, maybe once or twice a month, depending on your lifestyle, to really deep clean a room. And I have not done that. So this place is really suffering. And I this is one of the first places that I wanted to take care of because this is a centralized location in the house where we all gather. This table it, or console table or stand or whatever you want to call it is actually from the basement. It does have three shelves, but I took off the third one is one that goes in the middle. I just took it off because it was too high for what I wanted it to do. I just wanted to put this behind the couch because it's a little empty back there. Plus, I needed something to hold all of the Wii games and stuff since I got rid of that. Well, I didn't get rid of it. I relocated the black stand that held all of the, the Wii games and controllers and remotes and all that kind of stuff. So I just went downstairs and got this because it fits perfectly behind the couch. You can barely see it and um, it just serves its purpose. If you're not new here, then you already know what this area is. It's one of my catch-all areas that's in my family room or living room. And honestly, even looking at it right now, it really wasn't that bad. I have known for this area to be piled up with stuff that needs to be put away. But like I said, this area wasn't too bad. So it didn't take me long to take care of that. Thank you. 
these were extra wipes that we had left over from when my grandmother was living with us. Um, I didn't want to give them away because I still have kids that use wipes and we still use wipes every day. So I just needed to put them away in storage. I'm going to be taking them out the box and distributing them in different bathrooms and different bedrooms. I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera, the large stains that's on the carpet. There was a lot of large stains and then it was a lot of like small drip stains that were on the carpet. Like I said, I cannot remember the last time that I actually deep cleaned this room and especially the carpet. So imagine how far away it was or how long ago it was that I deep cleaned. Now times that by two, that's when I shamp last shampooed this carpet. And this is a high traffic area, the one that I'm doing, which is really all that I got to today <laughs> before the machine got full and I really didn't feel like reloading it. But look at just that small area, how much dirt was actually in there. It was ridiculous. It's gonna take me, I committed myself to shampooing that carpet like once a week until we can get it back to its former glory or close to it because that dark, water was unacceptable i can't let it go that far again but that is it for this uh family room we're going to go ahead and move on to upstairs and we're going to be tackling my kids room now my kids room well let me say my girls room is a complete disaster partially it is my fault but they added on to it as well to make it worse. And it's because I've been kind of behind on laundry. So whenever I do the laundry and I fold it, I quite don't get around to actually putting it up. This is nothing new here on this channel. I'm good for washing, drying, folding, but when it comes to putting up, like I'm just tired at that point. So a lot of the laundry has ended up on my two-year-old's bed. And we all know my two-year-old is not sleeping in her bed just yet. So it kind of just became a storage area for laundry. And not only that, like it gave my nine-year-old uh, permission <laughs> or allowed her to basically treat her room like a storage room as well it was a lot of stuff in here that didn't belong it was a lot of stuff that was out of place so it's just a combination of everything but like I said today is one of those days that we're just going to reset these areas While we are resetting these rooms, we are putting the, the laundry away, the week's uh, worth of laundry away. And during this time, I realized how much of a mess that my kids' drawers were. 
but that is a task for another day that was not on the agenda of things to do i didn't know that the drawers were this bad but both rooms the girls room and the boys room their drawers was a hot mess but remember that never ending to-do list that i was talking about in the beginning of the video yeah we're just going to add that on to the bottom of the list because like i said today is not that day okay i didn't mentally prepare for reorganizing and doing drawers but we're going to get to it just not today Another task that I'm going to have to add to the end of my never-ending to-do list is to re-go through all these toys again. Like, I have to do this, it seems like, once a month because stuff is just stuffed in here. And I remember when I first did these little cubicles and put their toys in it, it was enough room. I didn't have to stuff nothing into anywhere. It was organized based on, like, Barbies, dolls, baby stuff, um, the Barbie accessories. Now, it was extremely organized, and now everything is just cluttered. Um, I have to stuff things in there, so that's how I know that it's stuff in there that doesn't belong. So, again, not a task for today. Now we're headed to the closet. We're going to go ahead and get to work in here. Uh, I'm going to be putting away all of those clothes that needed to be hung up that you saw on the bed. We already did the ones that were folded and belongs in the drawers for both kids, the two-year-old and the nine-year-old. So now we're going to do the ones that need to be hung up. Now, the reason why the laundry is like that is because we recently just went shopping for more clothes because my kids are growing like weeds. So all four needed new clothes. So just imagine having the regular laundry to do, which is at least maybe four, four loads, maybe five, maybe six. I don't, can't even lie. <laughs> and then adding on all of the new clothes for four kids. And I'm talking about they got like almost half a wardrobe worth of new clothes. Each kid did. So I'm not saying I'm to blame for that, but there was a reason why the laundry was piled up. I was just too tired. After all those loads, I was just extremely tired. So now we're just going to get it hung up. I actually need to re-go through the closet <laughs> and make sure that everything still fits, like the old clothes. Because like I said, my kids are growing like weeds. So there's some things in here that doesn't even fit anymore. Again, today's not the day. <laughs> this never-ending to-do list since we started this video has already gained, what, three new tasks for new tasks so yeah just know that you are not alone if you feeling like you're falling behind in your house or in your personal life or anything you're not alone trust me because i'm in that boat with you and speaking of falling behind i don't even think i got to put exactly every single thing up some things i had to fold and like put away 
the stuff that needs to be hung up because I ran out of hangers. Can you believe that I ran out of hangers? So I need to go ahead and add that to my growing to-do list. What's that number five at this point? But I also have a running shopping list. So you know those things that you um, run out of and some things that you need to purchase, but not at the moment. Sometimes you forget. So I need to add hangers to the list. The last thing I'm doing in this closet is just a little sprucing up, a little organization, getting rid of some trash that's in here that don't belong, and just making it look nice. Nothing too major in here. It's not really a deep clean, just kind of slightly organizing. Now it's time for me to make my daughter's bed. And let me tell you something about this. Now, this making up this bed was actually worse than the bunk beds. And I've had two sets of bunk beds. So you know when that awkward moment when you have to climb on a top bunk to actually make the bed? This is actually worse to me because this space is so tight because this space was well i designed it for two twin beds so now it's only one twin bed and now this she has a full bed so it is tight it is from wall to wall with the bed the dresser and then the twin bed my two-year-old's twin bed so getting these sheets in between can actually like it hurts my hand sometimes well most of the time and then trying to get the covers in between the bed and the wall and then the bed and the bookcase that's at the end here it just worked so much easier and much better when it was just a twin bed but because she's so tall and she's getting older she needed a bigger bed so i get it this is just the price that i have to pay i'm just telling y'all this is why i'm moving so slow even when it's sped up you can tell that i'm just moving so slow and i'm just over it it's like i gotta climb all the way over i would rather a bed have room on both sides so i can just walk around instead of like climbing on top of the bed but let me stop complaining and get back to the video So in the girls room i gave you guys a complete transformation in the boys room it's really not too much in here uh of course the laundry <laughs> but their room is not as messy i really thought you know with me having both boys and girls that the girls were going to be neater than the boys 
but that's not the case for for any of them <laughs> the boys tend to clean their room better than the girls and that's no shade to my girls okay that's no shade because they do things better than uh boys in some areas but when it comes to keeping their room clean yeah the boys are on it and i want to say that that has something to do with that they're not allowed to get their devices until they complete their list of things that they have to do every day and cleaning their room is one of the lists is on the list so basically when they wake up in the morning, you know, they can eat breakfast. I'll make them breakfast. They have to brush their teeth. They have to get dressed, of course. They have to clean their room. Their bed must be made. Um, I think that's pretty much it. The typical things that you do in the morning. Later in the afternoon, because they can't have their devices in the morning. I think it's just, that's just a rule that I have in my house. Later in the, in the afternoon, and they haven't done all of that stuff, by the time it's time for them to get their like iPads and phones and stuff, they can't get it. So my boys are, well, it's not both of them. Uh, the oldest boy really is into gaming. So he makes sure that he does his stuff so that he can get his game on later in the evening, like faithfully every single day. Now, my daughter, she doesn't really care as long as she can get her phone. I mean, she's into the gaming as well, but as long as she can get her phone, like she's fine. But as far as the whole cleaning, no, she she gives me lip almost every day. I have to remind her to do her stuff almost every day and she's just over it. But I guess that's just part of getting older and becoming a preteen. I don't know what age you would think preteen is now, but I feel like my nine year old is already a preteen with, you know, her moodiness and all that good stuff but yeah so we're just gonna be straightening up the boys room again it's not gonna be too much in here because they took care of that i'm just gonna be getting out the cluttered putting things back where they need to be reorganizing their little cubicle a little bit because it was just a little bit messy and then we're gonna tackle the clothes in here as well
All right, the last thing that I'm going to do in today's video is tackle more laundry. You already seen those tons of loads that I had to put up in each of the kids' rooms. I still have more laundry waiting for me and I still have more laundry waiting for me. Like I said, this is a video where we're trying to catch up on things that we have to do. It is okay, give yourself a break if you cannot get everything accomplished in one day. Okay, we have tomorrow. Don't try to kill yourself trying to get all of this stuff done. Just take it in small strides and just keep it moving. So the laundry in the kids' room was from the last two weeks. This is from the last week. And now I have this week's laundry to take care of. So But that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that a thumbs up so I know what kind of videos you guys like um, for me to keep recreating. Also, let me know down in the comments what is on the top of your never-ending to-do list. I'm curious to know what things we share on our list. As always, I really appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one.